what's going on people and this is just a video to vet vet a little bit about something that I picked up in the common room when I was listening to John Iodarola and everybody talking about the newsroom and about how they're caught in the daily 24 hour cycle it kind of made me think about something that goes unreported um, social issues such as copyright infringement that requires a little bit more of a specialized degree I would get I would assume in journalism doesn't get reported a lot and the reason being is I don't think anybody really pays attention to all of the technology that's currently going on except for say a few video games that are coming out which are easy to do as well as um, things that are just not as particularly significant except unless you look at a bigger broad frame picture one of the things that I want to look into was the domain seizures that are going on right now as we speak with Kim.com um, Ninja Video Surf the Channel and all of these other smaller entities that have not gone reported in any news cycle for the last two years now the reason that I've looked into this is because copyright infringement for the most part isn't a big issue for me and it hasn't been for those that look into corporate profits when you look at how much money Hollywood is making how much money the music industry has lost because they've lost um, the ability to corner the market you essentially see copyright infringement as something that people might do but it doesn't really cost a lot to artists who have figured out ways to monetize um, music or um, artists filmmakers or even game makers who have um, found a lot of success through um, alternative funding than what the studios used to do one video that I have to do in the very near future is probably going to have to deal with recording industry accounting as well as motion picture association accounting and I promise to get you that within the next few weeks but the fact here is with domain seizures we have the um, immigration and customs enforcement essentially locking up people for the basic fact of going into um, just for supposedly criminal copyright infringement these people don't get any type of judicial process at all their assets are seized far far before um, anything goes through anything they can't even get an adversarial hearing where they're told to come in and see if they've done anything criminally um, in terms of civil suits those civil suits don't um, register if the ICE is involved and we've had at least five people going to jail for nothing more than cr than say making a website posting and embedding material onto that website and making it available outside of the United States somehow this supposedly destroys um, this destroys the Hollywood business model and they need government protection in order to sustain that now what am I talking about? I'm talking about John Morton um, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement who have essentially um, made it their crusade that any domain that they don't like is going to be hit with copyright and criminal copyright infringement one of the places that they that was hit was called Ninja Video Ninja Video basically in, um, embedded videos onto the website and after they embedded the videos onto the website they allow people to um, essentially make money from or uh, they made money from advertisements now one thing that they did starting July 29th of 2010 they seized all of the banking assets um, raided the houses and I mean full SWAT team for some of, for some of these people and essentially said that they were criminally liable and then six months later because of how the law is set up because of how the pro IP act of 2008 um, was set up they could hold on to this for six months make an investigation and then say essentially that these people were um, 
pirates, criminals, whatever ha else have you, without having to prove it in any way, shape, shape or form. Which, if you've read my or listened to my video in regards to um, civil asset forfeiture, this is exactly what I was talking about. Where the police essentially abuse the um, civil asset forfeiture laws and use it for criminal acts to try to take money before anybody can um, actually build a, a defense to what is occurring. Six months later in December, they had a complaint and unfortunately they had their um, website seized. After that was t taken care of, a year and a half later, from July to I believe January of this year, they um, were indicted on criminal copyright infringement charges. One case, one count, at least two counts, as I've looked into the um, into the picture, into their um, story, and essentially they were charged with hundreds of thousands of dollars being taken for about five different movies: The A Team, The Incredible Hulk. When their website, if you actually look at the web, if you actually could look at the website, it was an essentially an online library. You had different documents that are now taken down. You had the forms that were taken down on Ninja Video. And no one is sitting down to report these things because of the fact that ICE seized it through this picture that's going to be right up here somewhere. And they took that picture and essentially put it on front. This is essentially ICE going into a library, taking everything out. And saying this place is not good, um, is no longer open for business or business hours in any in any way, shape, or form, and essentially closing it down so no one can see that see that business. And w the sheer audacity of this does not begin to say that John Morton made his case at Disney headquarters the day after the seizure. Now this isn't the only one that um, he's done. Um, there was the thejazz1.com website that was taken down for over a year as well as Roja Director which was taken down for a year and a half and when they tried to um, send in a complaint that complaint was stalled at least four or five different times as well as the fact that Roja Director Director could not um, get the US government to stop playing mind games with the um with the court case in any way shape or form if you look at it what they try to say is that Puerto 80 who owns Roja Directa was not responsible for copyright infringement but the website itself was responsible for the copyright infringement even though Puerto 80 is just doing embedding now all of this actually got um taken um, clarified when Judge Posner, Richard Posner, who you've probably heard of through TYT as the one that says the conservative movement is going guilty or goofy, but Judge Posner has um, essentially taken up a crusade against patents as well as copyright issues to try to clarify a lot more and saying that embedding was not was not um was not a crime in any way shape or form and that got Roja direct director to essentially get their domain back after a year and a half now the jazz one just got their domain at least six months ago i'm not sure on that at this current time and maybe there can be a little bit of clarification here but ninja video the five admins there have essentially had to plead guilty to to their crime to their quote unquote crime of criminal copyright infringement for nothing more than essentially again hosting an online library and the biggest one, the biggest insult to this of all is the fact that Farah um, or Hannah Bashar had to plead guilty um, she was given two years in jail she was told that she has to pay the Motion Picture Association industry, a trade industry, $600,000 for 
for not doing nothing more than making $34,000 a year. And when you look into piracy and you look into criminal copyright infringement or any kind of copyright infringement, they make money from ads and supposedly these ads take all the money from motion picture studios when that has made no absolutely no sense whatsoever. The Avengers is probably one of the biggest pirated movies out there, along with Avatar in 2009. And yet they made, in Avatar, two, over a billion dollars was made from that movie, while Avatar has gone to have great success, even though there were still cams, or, you know, first-run cameras, as well as other types of, um different videos being showed online no matter where you go if you're in Brazil UK or any um, any other country you can find find these movies online but you get a different experience in movie theaters and it doesn't even stop there one of the stories coming out of the UK is the fact that Ant um, Anton Vickers is now getting four years in jail after AFAC, which is a private corporation, n not a government entity in any way, shape, or form, basically tracked him down, tracked down his finances through government resources, and essentially stalked this man for a, and basically criminalized him and said that he was um, a criminal in some way, shape, or form when all of their acts were criminal. And this was admitted in court. That they tracked this man down, found out all about his finances along with his wife, when all they did was have a website that could show links online to whatever they wanted to do. They were essentially the Google of the um, UK world, of UK, and they were tracked down, and this man faces four years in prison for doing nothing more than having embed, um, embedded links on his website as well as um, videos or and the story continues to go that we have 800 domains that the government feels that they can take down at any time through ICE and essentially just knock offline for trying to fight piracy and piracy is nothing more than an idea of underserved customers that want better content at their own convenience. And yet this is what is being charged that the criminal the criminal is you, the person. You are the one responsible for all of this nonsense where you are essentially just a money making machine to anybody in a corporate um in a corporate suit. The Motion Picture Association and the recording industry are making less money than they ever have before. Um, again, these are trade industries. These are corporations. They represent other people. But the fact of the matter is, somebody has been needing to report this for a long time. They needed to report all of the technology issues that are currently going on. And yet, with domain seizures in particular, it seems that less people are looking into John Morton as well as Immigration and Customs Enforcement in particular and how they have essentially just destroyed and taken back all of the new innovations that are coming currently coming out here in the United States in regards to trying to make um, better sites than YouTube, v v uh, VO, or anywhere else and make places that people can find documentaries and um, and things that they rather enjoy. Game of Thrones probably wouldn't be as um, popular as it was right now were it not for piracy. Reason being, HBO and HBO Go unfortunately do not have streaming only um, for the United States. They just implemented that in Europe and the reason that they implemented it in Europe they had a lot of piracy coming in and a lot of people were particularly pissed because Game of Thrones had to be had to um, they had to wait for Game of Thrones for over a year to come out in certain places on DVD instead of just coming out as soon as possible with new episodes or making it easily available 
for people who are fans of the show or possible fans of the show to see it besides on just HBO Go. And again, why is no one reporting these things? If you're going to report that Game of Thrones is a good show, if you're going to report that the newsroom is a good show, if you're going to report that people need to see these shows or in any way, shape, or form, why not sit here and talk about all of the other technology issues that are going on at this current time? What about Apple and Samsung and their billion dollar lawsuits? Again, this is just me saying that because maybe I'm a little bit more interested in technology issues, but we truly need these technology issues to understand what is going on in the world around us. And why is it that if people are talking about copyright infringement here on here in the United States and abroad, and we shut down SOPA, we shut down the um, anti-counterfeiting trade agreement, and we've shut down the son of SOPA that's supposed to be coming up, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, why is no one reporting these more often? That's just my thoughts. Maybe someone can explain that to me. That's just my feelings on it. And I've needed to get this ran out for quite some time, especially with John Morton and the domain seizures that no one has looked into, especially when one of the big things that we needed is someone to sit down, report technology news, and get that information to you, the consumer. That's all I have for now. I hope you all enjoy. Leave your comments on below, and I'll see you next time.